Hi everybody, welcome back. I hope that you're doing great. I'm having a good day, feeling pretty good, and I'm getting ready to go out with my husband for a little early in, maybe later, to date night. And I bought some new products, shocker, I know, and I wanted to try them out with you. Okay, let me show you what's new and then we'll get started. I ordered this BH1 Cosmetic Brush Kit. This is, I had the box over there. It's the Midnight Festival. And I was really impressed with the quality of these. And I didn't realize I was getting so many brushes. You have this really nice, um, kind of small kabuki uh, foundation, cream blush. You can use this for a lot of different things. And like, how cool is that pink? Just love it. We have a blush brush that is really nice. You could probably use this for powder too. Like if you just want to set certain areas. I have a foundation. Uh, actually, they're numbered. I just noticed that. This is the number one brush. And the other ones too. Hmm, yeah, they're numbered, but I don't know what the numbering means. And I like the way this is tilted or slanted. It might be like a good contour or maybe even a foundation brush. I have this brush, this is the number five, and this I think would be really good for setting concealer or you putting a little bit of powder. Very nice, kind of too big for eyeshadow. This is another like flat, thick, dense brush. It's the number four, and this would also be good for putting on some concealer. Too big, I think, for eyeshadow. For me, my taste. Here's a nice eyeshadow brush. It's the number nine. And it's it's movable, but not like too movable. Be great like a crease or even just to put down some color. Here's another brush. It is uh, the number seven. It's a nice um, crease blending brush. Here's a nice flat shader brush and it's the number six. Really nice. And this one I think is a pencil brush but it doesn't have the thickness that I'm used to but I'm gonna play with it. And it's the number 10 and it came in this cute little hot pink case. You can put it on your vanity, your bathroom um, sink, wherever you do your makeup. It's really cute. So I purchased that online and I think it was on sale for like $17 or $18.99. I'm going to leave links down below. I did that before, but I am getting more people asking me, you know, where I got the product or, uh, you know, for a link. So I'll put it down below and I will use my magic links. And just to let you know, when I, when you purchase from that link, I get like a really small percentage of what you buy, not from you, but from the company that you purchase from. And you can always go to like their regular, like BH Cosmetics would be where you go for this. You can always go to, you know, the normal and not use my, my magic links, that is fine. It's just using them kind of so, it helps to support me so that I can buy more stuff to show you <laughs> and have some fun. Okay, this is some type of um, like collab that Elf came out with. I really can't read that. It looks like, oh, there's a name on the top. It's the Pitsion, Elf and Pitsion Electric Mood. And this is a four quad De La Soul Cream Face Quad. It's two blushes, a bronzer, and a highlight. And I did swatch these uh, last night. I could open this up my hands. That's one thing with packaging, even like, expensive products a lot of times our packaging is hard to open if you have any type of like arthritis or issues with your hands there we go that's what that looks like you got the two blushes you've got a bronzer and you've got the highlighter and as i said i i swatched this and the highlighter is really kind of non-existent but maybe it'll look different on my face see you don't really see anything. Not that I want a highlighter that's like bam in your face, but I want something. OK, 
Okay, this is the e.l.f. Bite. <laughs> I'm laughing. The Bite Size Eyeshadow uh, Quad. I'm laughing because in my last video of my favorite products, I said that I probably wasn't going to purchase anymore because I have so many eyeshadows. But I really love the formulation and the staying power. So I bought this in the color Rosewater. It's um, like a mauve purple, which I really like on my eyes. And then the last new product is the uh, it's by Ulta Beauty. It's the color correcting concealer. And I'm going to see how that works. I haven't had uh, much luck when it comes to like correctors. And the correctors is used for when you have really dark circles or dark spots on your face. Uh, you put like a peachy corrector and then on top you put a concealer which is like a skin tone. A lot of people like to go like one shade um, lighter than your own skin tone. Um, and I don't mind that, but I don't, I don't like to go any lighter because I feel like if I use a really light concealer, at least on me, it, uh, it doesn't brighten. It kind of highlights those. So let's play with some of this new makeup and see and brushes and see how it goes. I'm gonna do my eyes first today and I'll do my brows later. I'm, they're kind of growing in over here. I'm letting them grow out for a little bit because I want to go and get them waxed and reshaped. I normally do them on my own. I, I groom them with like, a, I have any of these, with like a razor. Probably should put the camera put myself back that way you can see more of me anyway like these kind of razors but I've done that for like since I was in high school many years and uh I have gro groomed I have waxed before um I've never threaded but I have done the waxing but mostly I do the kind of grooming with the shaver the face shaver and I like the outcome but I feel like I'm my brows don't match as much as I would like them. And I maybe get a little bit of higher arch over here. Well, we'll see. I will uh, talk about that in another video. When in time. When in time? Yeah. All right. See, it's 7.38. 7 minutes and... 7 minutes and 42 seconds. And I'm still jabbering. Uh, okay. Let's go in with some eyeshadow. Now... I don't normally use a um, primer, but when I do use a primer for my shadow, I like to use the Milani. And this is a, another great drugstore brand. I was just talking to one of my besties and we're, you know, she was saying how she likes how I show a lot of affordable products. And I'm telling you, I have really seen a improvement in drugstore or affordable makeup and even skincare in the last I would say maybe five years. I know like with e.l.f. it's been a brand that I've been really enjoying and honestly when I first tried it like 10 years ago it was really crap. <laughs> I really didn't like it and the packaging is still about the same which is fine but the products itself, or themselves, they just seem to be a better quality. So those drugstore brands or affordable brands that are kicking it up a notch, we appreciate you. Okay, let's go in with this color. It's kind of like a, a pinky, like a mauve, mauve taupe. I'm going in right with that shader brush, which is the number six brush. And I need my mirror because I've got older eyes. Let's pick up some more. And then I'm gonna put that like I usually do right on the movable lid. Just pack it in. Well, not too many layers. And I find that when you take some, and you do it like a couple layers of it, the color comes out better and they last longer. 
When I first started using eyeshadow many years ago, I would just do like a sweep, but the color didn't show and they didn't last very long. Okay. And pick up a little bit more. The brush was nice. It picked up the product really good. Very nice. And also, um, I washed the brushes yesterday when I received them. Always wash new brushes. You never know what they come in contact with. Now I'm gonna take this darker color, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the brush and tap it into there, tap it off, and then I'm gonna go into the taupey color that we used, sort of mix the color so that's not too dark. really like the way that looked. Could have gone right into the darker color, but I kind of like to start like a little lighter. And then if I want to build up more, I build up more. Now see there, I put a little too much of the darker purple. I'm just going to call it purple. So to even it out, I'm just tapping. These bite size quads have so much pigmentation but not so much where they're hard to work with. And I think they're like $3. I mean, how can you go wrong? And I, I know that I'm gonna be purchasing more. I wore the one that I have last yesterday uh, in Pick Me Up, which is like the brown tones. And that shadow look lasted all day and into the night. Now I want to like kind of blend it out a little bit. So I'm going to go back into that taupey color. It's kind of hard to do that and mix that like blend that in. You could always take light and dark colors to kind of mix them to make not the kind of to mix them so that they're not as dark. You just have to take like a little bit at a time. These brushes are very soft, but they really do a nice job. Now this is just first impressions. As with all first impressions that I do, which are not a lot, if I turn out where I use it all month or whatever time, and I really like it, they'll show up in a uh, monthly favors. That's kind of like my final, not final, but it's kind of maybe my final review. Very nice. It's pretty. Okay, um, this shadow over here is really pretty. It's like a rose gold pink. I'm going to try going in with that flat shader brush, which is the number six. Tap that. And then I'm going to go right in the middle. Oh, it's not as shimmery as I thought, which is good. As you can see, that's the only time I really close my eye when I put on this, like, kind of like highlight color and just put it right in the middle. Pretty. Now because that this doesn't come with like a brow bone color, I wish it did. Like I probably could take this out and use a brow bone color. I'm going to go in with that e.l.f. bite size in the cream and sugar. I like that name. And I'm just going to take this brush the number six. I'm going to tap into that beige color, beige you cream, and just highlight right here. And then I kind of bring it down to blend so there's no harsh lines of that darker crease color. I'll look better when I have all my makeup on, but 
thought I would try doing my eye makeup first today. I normally do my face makeup, but I was watching a video last night um, with Lori Geller. She has a nice makeup brand too. Um, and she said she always does her eyes so that if there's any fallout, she can just clean that up. But I don't see any fallout with the with the um, bite size quads. Yeah, there's there's nothing. All right, let's go uh, do a little something with my brows. Just kind of want to make them a little bit darker, fill them a little bit in. And I'm using this brow. Gosh, it's all like <laughs> worn out. This is the. Gosh, I'm gonna have to look it up and I'll leave it down below. I can't remember what it is. And I just comb or brush through it. A little bit of sparseness right here. But I'm pretty lucky in the brow department because I've always had pretty thick brows. It's Polish jeans. My dad has really thick brows. And my, um, even at his age of 87, I, I trimmed them for him because they get so like wooly mammoth. <laughs> and in fact, I just did that yesterday for him. And when he goes for a haircut, um, the lady that cuts his hair will trim them too. But in between haircuts, they grow. My niece too, she has inherited that uh, wooly mammoth <laughs> eyebrow gene. All right, I'm gonna do eyeliner later and mascara later. Let's go in with some foundation. This is the It Cosmetics Your Skin Look Better, which has been a absolute favorite. And this is the number two brush. Pretty dense, it's sort of like a mini kabuki. I'll try it with this. And if I don't like it, then I'll try another brush. And I'm just gonna put some right on top, just like a squirt. When applying foundation, my tip is to start with a small amount. This brush is nice. And then build up if you want. You might want just a very light coverage and you might want a fuller coverage. But if you go in and you put like two pumps and start smacking it all over your face, it's you're gonna just have like a cake face and nobody likes that. I like cake, but not on my face. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here. And we start, like I said, I always start with one pump and then I go back to the areas that I want to cover a little bit more. And when I want to cover a little bit more, I tap like this, like I'm pouncing it into my skin. You can use a uh, beauty blender or um, any type of beauty sponge too. I, uh, when I use beauty uh, sponges, I really like this Total Face one by ALF. And Wet n Wild makes a really nice one too. <laughs> it looks like I have a white mustache. This is a really nice one too. But I'm just kind of in the mood to use the brush, try them out, see how they like. I like them. I like how soft this feels on my face. I have tried brushes in the past where they pick up the product really nice, but they feel so hard on your face. I'm taking some of that foundation and putting it underneath my eyes. And then I'm kind of flicking that up to sort of bring the eyeshadow up a little bit. Up is always good. texture here but you know no one's perfect and then I'm gonna bond that down a little chin approval for somebody that knows that little phrase I had a giveaway with my um, oh it was my drab to fab look and I did a hidden giveaway and I announced the winner and she already knows and I'm picking out some stuff for her. I have her address. But always check, well not always, but when you check out my videos, I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit. When you check out my videos, 
always try to watch to the end because I, um, when I do a giveaway, I like to kind of put the information somewhere along the video and I don't always announce it. So if you are interested in receiving something nice from me, then watch the video. Okay, that kind of looks really like full coverage, which I'm surprised because usually uh, this foundation is not full coverage, but I think it was because the dense brush, but that's fine. I'm gonna go in with a different brush that I have, this powder brush, and I'm just gonna blend some of this out because I don't like too full of a coverage on me. I used to, but now I want a little bit of my skin to show through. Especially like on my nose. I think it just looks, not that I look natural, but I just like it better on me. I pinned my hair back today so that I wouldn't be, well, I thought I wouldn't be playing with it. Okay, now with that kind of like melts into the skin, let's go back and do some mascara. And I'm going to use the telescopic carbon black which I also mentioned in my um, favorites video. I'll try to put a card up in this corner, I think it is. And the card, you just click onto it and it'll take you to the video. And please remember when I say I'm gonna put a link and I don't, just leave me a comment down below and let me know you know, hey, you forgot, uh, blah, blah, blah. But I want a little eyeliner too. And I think I want to go with like um, a felt tip. I should have taken this out before. But I didn't. Don't want that one. So sorry, I have to wait. Okay, I'm just, well, I don't want to use that one. Here it is. This is a felt tip liner. But the cap came off and we shake those you can hear that little this is by hank and henry i don't know where you purchased these but i'll try to find a link and the color is blickety black but it looks more like a brown and it has a brown like brown packaging so it's kind of strange i'm just gonna pull my eye like that Ooh. If I had this that long, this is completely tried. Well, that was a fail. Let's toss that and get another eyeliner. I know I have them. Okay, here is the Aurora. That's the brand. And it's Intensely Fierce Eyeliner Expresso. Does that make sense? This is water-based, alcohol-free, paraben-free, and perfume-free. And I don't think you need, this is more like a marker. There we go. And this is a pretty brown. I can't believe that other eyeliner that I didn't realize that, that it dried up and there was no more in there. Especially since it just went through my makeup recently. As you can see, I put a little bit more at the outer edge. Eyeliner is something that takes a lot of practice. I don't think anyone has ever used eyeliner like the first time and did it great. I can remember back in the 80s, we used to water, on, water line only the water line. I like um, lining the top too. And I'm not gonna put anything in the water line today. Let's make sure that that's even. You can always use like your hand and rest it on your cheek area or face. So it is a brace. There. See, my eyes feel like woken up already. Let's go in with the telecopter, telecom, telescopic. I'm really sorry this video is 24 minutes already. But you can always just kind of go through and see the pieces that you like and 
can always pause it and then you go back into your YouTube account, go to your library and uh, pick off, pick, pick up where you left off. Checking the time. Oh, it's running a little late, but that's okay. My husband's busy. I am married to a amazingly sweet man and he literally is a genius. He is really down to earth. He doesn't make people feel bad because he's so smart. He is an aerospace engineer and he's been involved in a lot of really great projects. I can't really say much more and um, don't know a lot because a lot of the things that he does are you know, classified. But he loves his job and he is like his father, rest in peace, who always, t always, t always loved learning. Even into his 80th year of life, he would be reading Scientific America or some type of book or magazine and learning more. He definitely gets that from his dad. He is currently studying and learning a new, not trade, but a new thing that he hopes to, uh, to use for our benefit. I don't want to really go into details with it because it's, you know, it's really his business. I really like that mascara. It's very nice. Very nice. Thanks again, Brooklyn. Got another shout out. <laughs> All right, I feel like I need to like, set my makeup a little bit. So let's go back into that, um, the Halo Glow Setting Powder. I haven't really played with this much, except when I did the Full, fa full Face Elf. And, hmm, I'm going to try this brush. It's kind of dense. But the way I put on my powder, it might work. And my mirror down here. Ooh, not that finger. And my mirror down here. I'm just doing it all over. We're going to be going to a place that's mostly outside. And so I don't want to be sweating. Or I will be sweating, but I don't want to look like I'm glistening too much that's nice this worked really nice as a, a powder i think if i would try to blend it wouldn't be as nice but using this this way it's nice just a little pouncing action all right i almost like my eyes better without a concealer but because i want to try this new product i'm going to i'm going to go for it okay this is the ultimate uh, color correcting sealer. Uh, when you want to color correct, if you have darkness, you use like a peach, orangey peach. And if you have uh, redness, you use either green or yellow. Um, I like more of a yellowish tone, but it's really up to you. This is really pigmented. And I'm just putting it right along there where I'm dark. And don't worry, I'm not going to leave it. I'm going to blend that. And let's try this big fluffy brush, the number five. Wow. The, the color really stays. Hmm, not sure. Maybe with the concealer, it'll be better. This is why I said, like, I'm not always looking with con uh, color correctors, but I like to try them because you never know when you're going to find a good one. I'm getting hot. Whew. All right, let's go in with this Milani Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer. And this color is in the Light Natural. And I'm going to put it like here. It might be a little light. 
going to put it in the middle and then I'm going to blend it like up and out. That does add some brightness. And I guess time will tell because like after a couple hours, you can really tell if your makeup settles nicely or, or you're not sure if you like it. Do you have any suggestions of concealers that you really like? Please leave them down below. I go, I've been going back and forth with not putting anything on and then like I turn my head and I can see like a real darkness that I don't like. Now that's the look with, with the corrector. Tell me what you think. I don't have an opinion. I don't know if the corrector honestly helped or not. Now, I don't set all the time my concealers, but because I am going to be outside, I'm going to do a little, a little bit with that glow powder. What is it called? Halo glow setting. Okay. And just tap it, but not too much because I don't want it to get cakey. Gonna pull this down a little bit. It's like I said, normally I just kind of let it set on its own. Thinking too of um, trying the Laura Mercier brightening powder. I know Sephora has it like in a little kind of sample size, but they last a long time. I'm gonna see if that helps to kind of brighten that darkness underneath. And for me, uh, you know, I use a nice eye cream. It's just hereditary, honestly. My dad has little dark circles and I also have asthma, which that doesn't help. Okie dokie. Let's go in with this quad, the Electric Mood. In collaboration with Pitizone. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. Oh, the packaging, why? Come on. There we go. You have to find this little like thing and then click on it. I'm going to try this brush. I used it. What did I, did I use it for the setting? I forget it, but I used it. Uh, it's the number three brush. And let's go in with a little bit of uh, bronzer. Mix it up nice. And I'm using this as a contour too. Kind of a bronzing contour. Oh, that's pretty. It sort of has um kind of a um cool tone, which I find for bronzers works better on my skin. When it's too warm, it looks orangey. And I'm not about that look. I love orange lipstick. And even like a nice orange blush, but for a bronzer, it just, not my thing. That's nice. Let's put a little bit over here in the forehead. And the, the rule kind of a bronzing, there's really no rules of makeup, but the kind of, okay, we'll call it a rule, is to bronze where stupid hairs where the sun is gonna hit and for me the sun hits my nose it hits the top of my cheeks and sometimes if I get my hair back it'll hit like the forehead this is nice I'm not sure it kind of looks a little orangey in the camera on my chin but it's not in person all right now I'm gonna try I think this blush and that does it have a name no, it doesn't have a name, but it's it's sort of like a berry mauve. Right with that same brush. Tap that in there. I like working with cream blushes, but I haven't always because I haven't had like the hand for it. Ooh, that's pretty. Where was that? And then 
want to take a little bit of that orange color. Should hold it the right way for you. Let's put a little bit there. Pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. You keep saying pretty, but this is a nice palette. I like it. I think I might have a little too much blush on my, um, whoa, on my nose. So I'll take that brush that I use for the powder, which is the number one brush, so soft, and blend it out. And then I can even go back over here so that there's no, you know, distinctive lines. And just kind of blend that all together. Then I'm going to go in with this highlight, but I'm sort of, not afraid, but I'm not thinking it's going to do much. A little bit. Go up on the high points of my cheeks. A little bit. Right here's my highest point. Hmm, it's nice. Nothing to write home about. I like the the bronzer and the blush is much better. I probably won't even use that, but that's okay. This was like, I don't know, $12. Nice price, nice product. Okay, now as I'm sitting here, I see like in person that using the corrector and the concealer just kind of brings out my fine lines more. So I don't think I like a corrector. But I'll let you know. Okay, so those are the new products that I have that I just wanted to um, use with you. This is a very long video. I am very sorry. I'm going to use a little NYX product here. This is the Butter Gloss. These have been around forever. And they're a new, new old discovery. I used to use these when I first started doing YouTube videos and getting more into makeup. Mm, that's pretty. Feels nice too. I used to use these like 10 years ago and then I saw some at, uh, I think it was Ulta. And I was like, ooh, I'm gonna pick up one. Definitely gonna get more. So that is my look for a little uh, date afternoon evening. I hope that you are doing well and that you enjoyed this such a long video and I don't really know how to edit like speed up things but if I can I will if not please enjoy this long video and uh, let me know what you think down below I hope that you're having a great morning afternoon evening night whatever time of day you're watching this take care of yourselves and I'll see you very soon bye bye